get this book. It's awesome. Yay. I'm Stefan Bauman, and thanks a lot for joining us today. We are going to discuss how to price your paintings. It's not the full, I have a video on this, it's not the full conversation, but it does kind of give you an idea of you know, the reality moment, what your value is, how to start painting your painting, and how to price that painting that you're painting, and get a full glimpse of, of how artists actually sell their artwork. So sit back, enjoy this video. It's not a long one, and I'll talk to you on the other side. One thing you have to remember that if you're selling a painting for $20,000, and then all of a sudden, the next person comes by in that same size and that kind of painting, and you sell it for $1,000. The person finds out that, you know, they paid 20 and you paid 1000 They're going to not necessarily ever buy one of your paintings again. Another thing is that with painting, you want to always be trying to increase your value at a predicted rate even for you to remember. So when you're pricing your paintings, you want to price them at a level so that there's a possibility of increase. And which means that when you first establish your market, you probably want to establish it lower than your anticipation. Now I have students that call me up and they say, oh, I want to be a a rock star. I want to be able to paint paintings and sell them next year because I'm retiring and I need to make fifty or sixty thousand dollars. And I go, hold on. Lower those expectations. Lower, just climb off that cloud real quick, because art is not a, a commodity that everybody necessarily needs. And so, when you establish your prices, you got to establish them according to the market. Now, the video that I have on marketing is about four or five years old. And that video on pricing your paintings is, I suggest to the students that they start at $2 a square inch, which is, if you don't know how to figure that out, is like a vertical times a horizontal times two. And that'll give you the price range. Now that particular price that I established years ago um, should be increased, obviously, but I get so many people that go, I can't sell my paintings for that price where I live. And I tell them, how do you know you don't? Your neighbors sometimes are some of the richest people that you'll ever run into, but you can never tell. So it's kind of hard to second guess what people can afford and what they do afford. I am amazed that when I go out to dinner, and look at the bill. And for two people, it's over a hundred, hundred and ten dollars. And I'm flabbergasted as I look across the restaurant and it's full of people. And I don't even have wine. I don't have lobster. It's like your basic meal. And the restaurant is full with tables of 10 people, six people, eight people, families. Oh my goodness. People are throwing money around all over the place. And have you seen the price of a bottle of wine? Holy smokes. And where does that bottle of wine end up the following day? So eh, people can afford your painting. So if they go, well, I can't afford it. It's like, well, they don't really like it. They don't want to commit to it. And a lot of people are just not used to buying art. So that's where you have to learn how to do salesmanship, which is what we talk about in level three. But I don't want to make this a long conversation. Yes, for some people, you do adjust the prices, but you have to begin somewhere. And somewhere would be $2 a square inch. If they can't afford it, this is how you deal with it. It's like, okay, so this painting works out to $100. Let's say it's a little tiny painting, it's $100. And they look at you like, but you're my friend, you're my compadre. And I go, you know what? Yeah. In my pricing structure, it's $100. But since you're my amigo, my friend, person that I love more than anyone else outside of my spouse, I'll give it to you for 40 That's done all the time. But you tell them, don't tell anybody. So people always like a good deal. 
And if you, and you know, part of it is like, they might not be able to afford a hundred dollars today, but you go, you know what? Take the painting home. Just send me some money when you can. You know, sometimes it's not the price of a painting. It's just like all of you have to go out and buy a refrigerator here shortly at some point. And if you have to go out and buy a refrigerator, it's going to cost you three grand. Well, a lot of us don't have as three grand to, around to spend like that. But the store sets up payments and you go, yeah, $54 a month that I could afford. So a lot of times when we set a price for something, that is the price. Your negotiations around that. Um, I often tell people, take the painting home. Do No, don't give me your driver's license. I don't care. Just give me your phone number. And you know, I'll check with you in a week or two. Once it's kind of up on the wall and you trust them, people will make payments. You can call them up. You know, you know where they are. It's not like you're going to lose anything out of it. I mean, let's face it. All of your paintings are practice paintings anyway. Until you develop your name for yourself, you shouldn't think that you're creating holy relics. The things that you guys are doing are like, you know, the beginning stages of your career Believe me, next year, you're going to wish that these paintings were out of your garage. So, you know, don't overrate yourself. You know, if you're playing the piano for the time that you're playing the piano, um, you're not recording and making money off that. Um, and so when you are uh, painting paintings that are uh, for practice, that's what we're doing. And you end up with a byproduct and people like the byproduct, you know, sell it for what you feel like you want to because like i said next year you want them out of your garage so make deals make payments make uh, negotiations do trade say you know hey take this painting and i'll take your wife you know <laughs> we don't know what you kind of trade you want to do don't trade your wife she'll be very angry um unless he's better looking but you see there's always something to learn. And the great thing about learning is that I provide a lot of content. So if you love what I do, push the subscribe button. That at least gets you kind of started. Go to my website and download a free book. And while you're there, order my book on plein air painting. Look at 400 pages of information of things that you don't know and you didn't know that you didn't know. You're crazy if you don't start getting true information done by a professional like me. And I've been teaching for 40 years. Believe me, you have to pay for good information. It's not going to be free. If that's not going to work for you, then you can sign up for my Patreon. You go to Patreon and put Stefan Bauman and sign up. For as little as $5 a month. You can actually interact with me and I answer questions and things. And we have a Zoom call and you get to show your work and I get to critique it and the world is a happy place. If you really truly want to get somewhere though, you're paid to get information like this, hire me as a coach. It's crazy if you think you're going to figure this out. It took me 40 years to figure out some of this stuff. I talk to art professionals and there's stuff that they don't know and they don't know that they don't know it. And if you really want to get somewhere with your painting, you're probably good right now. You can actually start pricing your paintings and become a professional artist right now. But you don't know. So Winston Churchill said, you need two artists to become an artist. And one is to hit you over the head to tell you to stop doing that. Well, that's what basically a coach does. I'm not going to have you paint my paintings. I'm going to do what you're doing, find out what's working, and get rid of what's not, and maybe add to that so that what you're doing is going to take it to the next level. If you don't have a coach, and it doesn't have to be me, you are wasting your time. So thank you for watching. Go to my website, give me a call, maybe sign up for one of my workshops, and you can get that information on my website. But if you just want to figure out all this stuff, Give me a call at 415-606-9074. That's my cell phone number. You get me direct, not an answering machine unless I'm driving or busy with somebody. But uh, yeah, just give me a call. If you're intimidated by that, text me on that. And we can start a conversation via text. 
So text me at 415-606-9074 and say, hi, I'm interested in your program, but I've intimidated to talk to you. And believe me, once you get over that, you're going to be glad you called. So give me a call. Call me just to say hi. I don't care. Anyway, so you have a marvelous time, but stop watching videos. Turn off your computer right now and pick up a brush because you know, and I know, that that's what you should be doing right now. Pick up a brush and start painting right now. I'm Stefan Bauman, and I would love to introduce you to a new book that I just wrote on plein air painting. After 40 years, I finally sat down with one of the best authors that I could possibly imagine for this project and put together everything I know about painting outdoors. And this isn't just an outdoor painting book, no. These are techniques that you can bring into the studio and they apply to watercolors, acrylics, gouache, and oil. You will be amazed at what you will learn with every turn of the page, every paragraph. We have worked through my videos, my information, my books, my blogs, and brought it all together. And over two years of editing, we brought it down to just the facts. This painting book has over 400 pages and almost 500 illustrations. If you see my video, and if you read my blog, and you follow me on YouTube, you know that there's a lot of information. There's a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. I'm amazed at the quality of this book, the pages. It's a field guide. It's a book that you would take outdoors with you and paint on location. It's been organized so you could find your way through my keys. This book explains 40 years of teaching and knowledge one-on-one. -on -one. All the information that I possibly know about painting is in this book. So run, don't walk, and order this book today. Get this book. It's awesome!